Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've got a very exciting video for you today. This is the haul slash kind of unboxing of the new Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder collaboration that has come out recently. Um, I am doing this video in collaboration with my very good friend, Huey Rouge. He is here on YouTube. I will leave a link down to his channel um, down in my description box. I will also leave a link down to his video on this um, collection. He hauled a bunch of stuff as well. And yeah, he's amazing. He found me on YouTube because of my video that I did last year on this collection. So yeah, so we kind of bonded over that and now we've become YouTube, Instagram friends and I absolutely adore him. If you're into scents, fragrance, perfumes of any kind, check out his channel. I, I am not even that into fragrance, but I can watch his videos and listen to him talk about a fragrance forever. He's so eloquent about how he describes them. I I'm always just like, it's sweet. It smells good to me. But he manages to find any descriptive word under the sun. And yeah, and he's the absolute best. So definitely check out his channel. Um, definitely check out his haul video. I really wanted to do it with him as well. He's a huge Estee Lauder fan, so he can really speak about the brand um, a lot more in depth than I can. I can just talk about how I'm a total fangirl of Victoria Beckham's and how I love her products and how I love them so much from last year. So I'm really excited to dig into uh, what I purchased. So um, you may want to grab not just a snack, but you may want to grab a meal, grab a drink, grab some knitting, grab any, grab a friend. Um, because I purchased all of the new pieces to this collection. So there were some re-promotions, I guess you could say, from last year's collaboration in this year's lineup. So like the bronzers, I already have Java, Sun, and, and Saffron Sun, so I didn't pick those up again. Um, and a few of the other things, oh, like the cream, the morning aura illuminating cream, I have one, I have a backup, so I did not get um, another one of those and uh, some of the single shadows. Anyway, I picked up all of the things that were new and that was 21 things. So I have 21 things to show you here. We're gonna do some quick swatches. So what I plan on doing is kind of like taking the next few days to really get to know the products. I'm gonna like put them on my face. I'm gonna wear them out. I'm gonna play around with them. And then I'm gonna film uh, a review slash tutorial of, the, of all the new pieces in the line. Um, I really tried not to look at any reviews or to kind of, you know, get influenced by anyone else's opinions, but the one review that I did see that kind of like snuck by me was the Temptalia or, yeah, Temptalia's review of the four pan eyeshadow and she gave it an F. So I'm trying to kind of forget about that and kind of go into it with fresh eyes. So... Yeah, so let's get into the actual haul and unboxing. So just to let you know, I ordered this through uh, Bergdorf Goodman. I actually contacted my SA there. Her name is Salwa. She is awesome. I might, I'm gonna leave her information down below also because if you wanna order any of these products and maybe you wanna get in touch with her, maybe ask her some questions about it, if you want some free goodies from the Estee Lauder counter because she threw a ton in my box, then you, might, you may want to go with her. Um, also, since Bergdorf is only located in New York, if you order outside of New York, if you have it shipped out of state, um, there's no sales tax. So for me, that's like an eight and a quarter percent discount right there. And Bergdorf is actually having like, um, like a beauty card event now. Anyway, and also, see this one's gonna be chatty. I, I really hope you grabbed a meal. Um, my birthday is coming up. And so last year, I believe when this was released and when they were having kind of like a big to do at Bergdorf, it was right around my birthday as well. So I bought the entire line last year. That was sort of, you know, a birthday present to myself. And basically that's what this year's uh, haul is. So this is a happy birthday to me. <laughs> so I'm super excited for this. I'm just gonna jump right into this bag here. Um, so I ordered all 21 new things of it. There's only one thing that's missing, which is I believe one of the lipsticks. I think that's what Sal told me. So there's three new lipsticks. I think um, she can only send me one. I think one's coming, but anyway. 
um, we will just see what we have here. So I'm just, again, I'm just going to dig right in. So the first one is the Eye Matte Duo, and they all come in these um, black boxes with like the gold foil edging, and then inside it has the polka dots, which is awesome. And, oh yes, so the compact does not disappoint. It's just like last year's. The um, texture is a little bit different on this smaller compact. I have, this is last year's um, single eyeshadow, and it's ribbed, and this one is just sort of textured. You can see that. So this is the duo, and this is in the um, Noir and Vanille. And let's just do some quick swatch. Ooh. Well, these are very, very creamy. You can't really see the vanille, but there's the um, Noir. So very creamy for uh, a matte. Excited to play with this. Uh, I also have the Sa Saphir or Sapphire Orange. And I believe this is part of like the New York uh, collection. So um, like last year, she had uh, cities. And each city basically had its own... Um, products associated to them to kind of create a look. So this is part of the New York look. I believe the um, Noir Vanilla is part of the Paris look. So again, same size compact. And here, oh, this is fun. So this is the the Saphir, Saphir and Orange, or Sapphire and Orange. I like how this is part of the New York look because this is very the Mets. It's also very the Knicks. All right, so let me swatch this um, Saphir Orange. Very, very silky smooth to the touch. Quick swipe there. So they're exactly as they appear in the pan. No surprises there. They're both matte. And then here is the last eye matte duo. And this is the one that I believe goes with the London. So this is blue, electric, and nude. So here is that. So the blue is much brighter. I'll just go ahead and swatch it right next to the, uh, the sapphire one. And then here is the nude, which is a bit deeper than the vanilla. So that's the blue electric and the nude. So much fun. I love how she always seems to incorporate blue shadow into her uh, into her line. Last year she had that six pan eyeshadow palette that I love and um, all the colors were pretty neutral except for this blue. There was a shot of blue in there so it's been very exciting. I also picked up the eye metals in blonde gold. So they brought back black myrrh and bitter clove. So that's like the the black single shadow and then bitter clove was like the taupe single shadow with like metallic bits. Um, so since I had that from last year I didn't pick those up. Um, so I went ahead and picked up blonde gold which is the new one and again it comes in the same compact style. Oh my god. Let's swatch this. Hold on. Let me wipe my other swatches off. I hope that's coming across. It's so pretty. Oh, I cannot wait to play around with these. So that is the eye metals in blonde gold. So sticking with the eye theme, let's go ahead and open up the eye palette. So this is that four pan palette. And, oops, I've already gotten it dirty. Here is um, the outside packaging. So just to compare in size, here's one of the smaller ones. So there's four colors in here. It looks like this one's a shimmer. Uh, these two are satins and this one is a matte. I'm not exactly sure. Let me go ahead and swatch them just to be sure here. So here, oh God. This uh, Blanc is super, super creamy. I'm actually going to swatch that right next to the Blonde Gold. So the Blanc in this palette is much whiter than that single eye metal. Here is the gray. This is very, very faint. So that one review that I read, I don't even know if you guys can see it, that one review that I read of Temptalia's, she was talking about how they lacked pigmentation. Um, I have to agree. This is not very pigmented. Um, so next up is the Bordeaux. That's how it swatches. It feels super creamy. There's the Bordeaux. I think this looks fantastic. Oh, I'm excited for that one. So this is like a satin. So definitely the, the Bordeaux and the Noir are like a satin finish. The gray shadow is like a matte. 
and then the um, Blanc shadow is like a satin as well. We have the Aura Gloss in Honey. So they come in these um, little jars, these little pots. It has a little VB on top. So here is the Aura Gloss in Honey. It's just sort of like a clear, it has just, just the like slightest hint of gold in there. It doesn't have a scent. I thought maybe it was gonna smell like honey, which would have made me happy, but it doesn't. It's it's uh, scent free or fragrance free. And then, so these are the two eye foils. This is the eye foil in blonde gold. It comes in the same sort of pot as the honey or a gloss, but it has instead of a black cap, it has a gold one. These, I think, are the same thing as last year's that came in the tube with the doe foot applicator. Actually, let me get them out and see, since we're right here. So this is what they looked like, I believe this is the same product. This is what the eye foils looked like last year. Well, I can tell already that the consistency of this is much more moussey, if you will. So this one is the new one, and this one is the old one. And then, uh oh, I think, oh no, I think she sent me two of the eye foils in blonde gold. Okay, I'm gonna have to return this and get the other one. Let's take a look at this skin perfecting powder. I'm so excited for this. I have to admit, mostly because of this compact. Oh my god, it's this textured um, gold. It's not leather, I guess it's like a super hard. Uh, material. It doesn't sound like plastic either. I'm assuming it's plastic. Anyway, here is the powder and it is supposed to be kind of like pore minimizing, pore blurring. It's a skin perfecting powder and it does feel very, very silky smooth. I'm not even going to bother because you can't see uh, a swatch of this, but look at that compact. We also have the cheek creme in blonde mink so again like the smaller sized compact with this um, textured leather so this is a, a cream cheek product so that is what the cream blush looks like that is a great fall blush color all right chugging right along we are finally getting towards the bottom of this bag let's see what do we have here uh, we have the Smudgy Matte Eyeliner. This is the eyeliner uh, in graphite. Oh. Fun. It, sound, it actually sounds like a baby rattle. So this is what it looks like. comes in this chic gold packaging. Oh, interesting. It has um, like a spongy tip applicator, but it is uh, pretty firm and just straight. So there's really no shape to it. Ooh, there is the smudgy matte eyeliner. I'm excited to try that. That will give you a smoky eye in like an instant. Let's see. And then um, an eye cajal in Saphir Vanille. So this is going to be blue and nude. I have the one from last year, which is like a black and a nude. So I didn't order that one again. So that is the Saphir side. It's a super dark, dark navy. Here is the vanille side and I think this is like meant for like your waterline it's actually a little bit too peachy for me so um, I didn't actually use it that much um, the one from last year but I do like this navy I think that'll be really cool and then here's another eye cajal oh this is in java and vanille so this is the one that has a dark brown end so that is java and then vanille is the same um, I don't think I showed you what the pencils look like, but that's, that's pretty much it. And then, let's see, what do we have here? This is the Eye Ink Matte Eyeliner. So this looks like it may be kind of similar to the Smudgy Matte Liner. Yeah, so this looks like it has a brush tip applicator. There is the Liquid Liner. It dries down very, very matte. And then we have the eye ink, oh, mascara. So I'm excited to try this mascara. I heard really good things about this mascara. 
Here it is. I'm not going to open it up because we all know how quickly it goes bad once you do. So I'm going to save this for when I do, uh, when I start testing everything out and I will report back. And then I think the rest of these things are lip products. So this is actually a re-release from last collection. This is the lip pencil in Victoria. Uh, this is one of my favorite lip pencils ever of all time. So I did decide to get another one because I kind of stopped using the one that I got last year because I was afraid it was going to just like go away. So now that I have another one, I'm very excited. There is the lip pencil in Victoria. Love it. It's, it's such a great nude. Um, so let me clean this off. So I've got um, two lip glosses left and uh, two lipsticks. Like I said, there's three new lipsticks, but she, uh, Salwa over at Bergdorf, did not have the third one yet. So it's actually on its way over to me. The matte lipstick in Victoria and the matte lipstick in Black Cassis. So let me go ahead and open up Victoria. Here is the lipstick. So here is Victoria. Oh, I love it. It is just like the lip liner. So last year they had the lip liner, but they did not have the lipstick in Victoria. And I was like, what? So I'm so glad they have uh, the lipstick now. Very exciting. And then next we have Black Cassis. And ooh, this is the one that comes in the gold packaging. So if you guys got last year's uh, collection, the gold packaging one was the Chilean Sunset, the really bright corally red. So now they gave it to the dark black cassis color. God, this is pretty. It's just like a dark wine berry red. And then two lip glosses and we're done with this unboxing. Um, so this one is in Desert Heat. Oh, okay. Sorry, I just pulled out last year's. I was like, that sounds familiar. No, last year's was Moroccan Heat and it actually came in this kind of packaging. I believe this year's it's like a regular kind of doe foot applicator. Let me just, let me stop yapping and open the box. This color looks so good and you guys know I'm a sucker for lip gloss. This is uh, similar to Moroccan Heat but I can tell just by sight that the Moroccan Heat is warmer um, than this. So here's the Desert Heat. My favorite like lip pairing of all of 2016 was the Victoria lip pencil with that Moroccan heat lip gloss. Loved it. Wore that, wore that to death. So I'm glad they gave me new things to play with. Um, and the other lip gloss is Fired Crystal. Ooh, I think this is the one that's like the lip topper. It's kind of like a nice pairing to the um, eye glosses. So this already feels like much less sticky than the desert heat. It's like a little bit of a holographic sheen is what I'm guessing, but another thing I'm gonna have to play with. I hope you can see that on camera. <sighs> so that is it. That is what I got at, Ber I'm just looking at my uh, receipt here. So that's what I got at Bergdorf's. I'm gonna put all this information down below. I'm gonna link to Huey's channel. Definitely check out his channel. Check out his Estee Lauder haul video. We're both also going to be doing sort of a deeper in-depth review and tutorial on, on these things. We kind of had this discussion about whether or not we wanted to combine them and I was like, my haul is going to take long enough. So uh, so we, we split them out. So check out his uh, haul video and keep an eye out for our review and tutorials. And um, I'm also going to put Salwa's information down below. She's my essay over at Bergdorf. So sweet. Absolutely amazing. Bends over backwards. Um, to kind of figure out what is going to work best for you and she'll throw in a bunch of great goodies um, into your box. If you're in New York, stop by the Estee Lauder counter. I swear, every time I stop by, even if I don't go to her counter, even if I'm there for like Tom Ford or Charlotte Tilbury, she'll come by and like slip me some like deluxe sample of like their most expensive, you know, face cream or something. She's just amazing. So definitely give her a call. Visit her if you're in New York. Um, and yeah, thumbs up this video if you liked it. Please comment down below if you have any questions about any of this. Um, like I said, I have every single piece from her collection now. If not at this particular moment, then it is on its way from Bergdorf. Um, so I can answer any questions that you may have. Um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I will see you in my next video.